What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you a very cool card trick. This is a card trick that you're going to want to just keep doing over and over again. Uh, <clears throat> not like something that you really have to memorize too that much, like there's no setup to the deck. Uh, as of right now, I mean you want to be, I'm going to show you obviously we're going to use a sharpie. It's obviously just going to be the signed card trick and then there's going to be a tutorial for the trick uh, right after I do it. Um, like I said, it's a very cool card trick and let's just get right into the performance of it. Um, we'll basically have the Sharpie in our pocket for now, so I'll put it off to the side. Uh, we're gonna take the deck of cards out, <clears throat> go up to anybody and just ask them if you, they wanna see a really cool card trick. Take the cards out of the box, go ahead and we could take out the jokers here. And then the rest of the cards are completely mixed up, but uh, if the spectator doesn't think so, we could shuffle them hand them over to the spectator and let them uh, cut the cards or shuffle them or whatever they want to do. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to riffle through the cards. They say stop right here. We're going to take the card that they cut to, which is the seven of hearts here. And then this is where we grab our uh, Sharpie. Now we hand this over to them. We open it up and we, we tell them that we want them to sign the back of the card. So we let them take the Sharpie. And in this case, I'm just going to sign uh, my initials here. I'm going to make a D, an M, and a T. All right, perfect. So now our card is signed specifically uh, on the back of the card. In this case, it's the Seven of Hearts. We're going to take this Seven of Hearts and set it down, and we're going to put it under the box so that we can't mess with it. So our signed Seven of Hearts, uh, which is unique now because it's got your signature, um, is under the card box. What we're going to do next is we're going to actually take uh, this same cards and have you tell me when to stop again. So we're going to go down and you say stop. Perfect right here. Now we're on the two of spades. What we're going to do is the same thing actually now. We're going to take that marker, the sharpie again, and tell them to sign the front of the card this time. So they're actually going to go and sign the front of the card instead. Just like that. So now two unique cards signed however they want. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and set it down. We can get rid of the rest of these cards now because they're useless. Uh, what we do is we tell them the signed back of the card, the seven of hearts that you signed, has been sitting there the whole time so I couldn't mess with it. I have no other cards in my hand. What would, it would be pretty cool if we could take your signed seven of hearts on the back and get rid of it. I mean, that would be a pretty cool trick. But it would be even better if we could take your signed seven of hearts, the signature on the back, get rid of it, but actually put it on the back of the two of spades here. So all we have to do to, in order to do this is wave our card over that two of spades. And just like that, their signature, their initials come off the back of the seven of hearts. And hopefully, obviously you have the signed front of the card but if we take a look, we have it also on the back of the card. So we transferred your signature from two cards onto one card like that. Uh, it's a pretty cool trick. Uh, basically how you do it is just by doing a double lift and, uh, let's see, by doing a double lift and uh, you tell them when to stop. They, you, it could be anywhere actually the first time. It could be anywhere that they want to actually stop at. So in this case, it's the king of diamonds. You're going to just grab... Uh, double lift here of two cards uh, doesn't matter what it is and you're actually going to have them you're going to turn it over so instead of just turning over one you're actually turning over two so they're actually signing this card right here which is the second card and like i said it could be any card so they're going to take the you're going to take the king of diamonds do a double lift have them sign it so we'll do it again so we'll just put my name on the card like that on the back uh, and then you could tell them how personalized it is now because it has your signature on that we can't do anything about so what we're gonna do is we flip it back over so they think they signed the king of diamonds so when we set this down we don't want to show this because this is the card we're gonna force them next so we kind of want to tilt it down as we set it down here and actually there's nothing on there but they think it is set the card box over it just to show that like really we can't do anything or have somebody hold the card, have them hold the card or whatever. Uh, so obviously we have these cards face down now because we don't want them to see anything to do with the card that they actually signed the back of. Take the cards, just do a swing cut. And I didn't do it very good in the video because you could see the, the break of the cards actually. But uh, I mean, normally you wouldn't see where that little break is right there. But you just want to go down and force Hold a pinky break under where you swing swung the cards. So technically, you're going to give them that card now. Tell them, ask them when to stop. They say stop. No matter where they stop, you're going to actually force their card on them. You can learn that 
uh, you can learn that force anywhere. Um, now you don't actually have to do any double lift or anything like that, but what you do want to do is I kind of just put my thumb or my pinky under it again just to look like I have the same hold that I did for that one because if I just hold it like this, they'd be like, well, why were you holding it so tight like the first time? So I hold it the same way I did the first time to make sure that they're not suspicious about anything. Do the same thing here, write whatever you want on the card here. I'll write it down here to see it. I'm not actually right-handed, I'm left-handed, but I hold it with my left hand, so I'm just basically doodling with my right. Anyway, uh, so now you take that jack and you set just set it down because you don't want to flash the back. So then you get rid of them and then go ahead and tell them, recap what happened, and then you could show them that you just do your little whatever you want to do and show them that it's off the back of this card and it's actually on to uh, this card. So it's a very cool trick, very powerful because they signed the card. Well, they signed two cards and then they ended up signing just one. So it's a very cool trick. Um, I use one deck for this. Uh, obviously, the deck's getting a little lower or a little thinner. I only probably about 40 something cards now because I did two about 10 people and I use like two here. So, I mean, unless people are really paying attention, I mean, you could go through and say like we have a full deck of cards here. Uh, they're not going to know. I mean, they're not going to see only 40 instead of 50. I mean, especially if you're just doing one trick with them, uh, it will make a difference. So that's what I use. I just use a regular bicycle deck just specifically for this trick so you don't have to go through a bunch of decks. But, I mean, if you have a bunch and you want to do it that way, just, I mean, open a brand new pack and do it, then you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the signed card trick.